بسم اللہ الرحمٰن رحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ کیس اسٹڈیز اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو لک ایٹ اے کیس اسٹڈی آن این آرگنائزیشن کالڈ اخوت اینڈ واٹ ڈز اخوت اسٹینڈ فار برادر ہڈ فریٹرنٹی ٹوگیدرنس ایمپتھی اینڈ کلیبوریشن سو لیڈیز اینڈ جنمن دس آرگنائزیشن وچ ناؤ is so well known not only in Pakistan but around the world because according to Harvard University, Akhwat is the largest interest-free microfinance organization in the world. But that is today. Today, its founder and chairman, Dr. Amjit Saqib, who's my mentor, he has been awarded the Raymond Magsaysay Award, which is the highest award in Asia. the Nobel Prize for Asia. Dozens of other awards have been given to him in Pakistan and abroad. But there was a time, ladies and gentlemen, when no one knew him. And no one knew a Huwad. And it's not that it's a long time ago. Just 2001. In 2001, a Huwad came into existence without an office, without employees, without furniture, without resources. One man with a dream to make a positive impact in society by giving out Karze Hasna interest-free microfinance to the needy and the poor. He was a position holder in King Edward Medical College, a position holder in the elite civil service examination, a topper in the civil service academy, a career officer, but an individual who realized that he did not want to be constrained by the frameworks of civil service. He wanted to go out and serve the people. make a real impact, make a real difference, make the lives of people better. And he resigned. Everyone thought that this was a very bad decision. But he had a fire of flame in him. So he got together with some friends and created a Huwad. 2001. a widow and asked for a loan to buy stitching machines so that she could take care of her children and send them to school. Dr. Amja did not have that money because he was an honest civil service officer, a man of impeccable reputation and credentials. But he felt her pain and promised to her that come back again after a few days and I will try to arrange the money. And destiny behold, he meets his friend Salim Ranja. And Salim Ranja says, I have 10,000 rupees. My wife gave it to me. But I don't know who to give. And I don't have the time to find the person. And Dr. Saab says that give it to me. I know the person. I'll give it to her. So cutting a long story short, the money is given to her. She buys two machines. She, along with her daughter, starts doing the stitching. They sell their products. After six months, she comes back to Dr. Saab and says, please give this loan to someone else. My life is better. It has changed. Thank you so much. That is the genesis of a Huwad. The first borrower, the first 10,000, no office. For many years, a Huwad, was housed in the small rooms which are found outside mosques. Dr. Saab and his friends and employees and even me, we would sit on the floor without electricity most of the time, drenched in sweat, working, dreaming, aspiring, wanting to make a positive difference. 
people thought it's not going to happen. How can an organization become sustainable by giving out interest-free loans? And actually, stricto senso, I mean, the value of money is going down. If the people are giving the money back after a year or two years, then in the real sense, the value of money has gone down. The organization was bound to close. So, so ladies and gentlemen, there were more naysayers and hardly any motivators. But the team worked hard, remained committed, strived with the best of intentions, with simplicity, with extremely low costs, and gradually, gradually started to grow. The first 10 years were very difficult. 2011, bingo. Ahuat hits the 1 billion disbursement mark. And everyone got fascinated. How is that possible? But it was possible. 1 billion rupees were distributed interest free. Researchers, experts came from around the world. They said, How was it done? It's not possible. However, after thorough research, some of the greatest minds projected that Akhuat is going to reach its second billion in the next five years. In the next five years, Akhuat crossed the 60 billion mark. Today, another five years, Akhuat has crossed the 148 billion mark, helping 4.3 million families from 837 offices from Liari to Sost, from Kasur to Balochistan, from Thirpakar to Momon Agency to Lundi Kotal across Pakistan. Akhuat is providing free education through its 320 institutions schools, colleges, and Akhuat University, the first tuition-free university, where every child who has a need and has a merit will get quality free education. And now Akhuat has ventured into housing also. It's also into health. Because what is its vision? to create a poverty-free society based upon the principles of equity and compassion. And that is the essence of good governance and corporate governance. To do things with simplicity and impact, to make a difference. And in this journey, all the people who thought that it would not survive, it has emerged as the world's largest interest-free microfinance institution. You can make a difference if you want to, if you remain committed, if you have good intent, if you have a burning fire, you can do it. Let's make this world better. Let's make the work environment better. And let's make our society better.